Hey guys, Digital Lifestyle here, back with another video. Hope you all are doing bloody well today. Right, I'm going to talk in like a different language today. I fancy doing it. No, I don't. <laughs> yes, I do. Uh, CIS hit by hackers. The key system take comes offline. Right. Do you remember, right, when uh, Klaus Schwab uh, came online and he said, pay sufficient attention to, um, what should I do in his, uh, his voice? Um, let me see if I can do that. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Play sufficient attention to the coming cyber attack. The the the, the cyber attack will be much more worse than the COVID pandemic itself. I think you remember him saying that. Look, um, CIS so yeah, systems. Um, I have no idea what they're about, but um, oh, yes, I do. They're um, to do with the America and there is a video that's going to explain that to you um two minute video um where this guy comes down and he he tells you basically how bad this is for the USA and the securities and the reason why I'm bringing this, you this video now is quite simple because um of what Klaus Schwab said and it would appear um I'll have to accept that it would appear um, that what they say comes true because it's all planned. Everything's been planned, okay? And I think people need to realise that... I'm trying to click that to get a reading. We won't do it. Um, the reason why I say that is because they're changing the new, the, the, the old into the new. ISO 222 is in, in place now. Um, companies don't have much longer time to get their acts together to get involved with with the new upgrades that are coming in place within the finance system. Basel um, as well is going to be coming into effect. Banks are going to go under. So they're putting this in place, the cyber attacks. It's not a cyber attack. They're, I think they're just going to switch things off and, and, and make it look like it's a cyber attack and, and, and say it is so that they can switch into the new system. That's what I think. So two years ago, a video came out. Um, it's had 5,300 um, 5, uh, K views. And it's cyber attack warning. Uh, and, and this came out in 20, uh, two years ago. So you're talking, what, we're now, 2022. This whole thing has been planned. So with fur without further ado, I'm gonna play you the video and I'm gonna start from the beginning. Um, well, do watch it, do pay attention to what they're saying. And there's another video coming after that um, where um, this guy breaks down the CIS and what it actually means for America. Um, but the, the, I'm going to say this, yeah, they knew all of this stuff right two years ago. Why weren't they preparing for it? Okay, you need to think differently in, 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 this, this, in this world right now, because what I see happening is they know stuff's going to happen and they don't do anything about it. Why don't they do anything about it? Because they know it's going to happen. And they want it to happen. Okay. Anyway, do check my style out, take care of yourself, have a great day, and do look after yourselves, guys. Um, pay attention to this space, please do your own research. We are moving into a digital age, and if you can't see that yet, then you know what? Your loss, not mine. Uh, not financial advice, do check my style out, do watch to the end, take care of yourself, like and subscribe. Bye. Oops, let me get over. While the ground war continues in Ukraine, there's another war to watch out for. Yeah, a cyber one. Cities across the country are warning people about a possible Russian cyber attack mm. here in the U.S. CBS 17 consumer investigator Steve Sprasha joining us now with this. And Steve, what do we need to do to make sure that we safeguard ourselves? A number of steps we can take. The bottom line, Rod, a Russian cyber attack can be crippling to both individuals and companies and virtually shut down our way of life. And I've learned how Russian attackers can use our own computers to stage such an attack or conversely hold everything in our computers for personal ransom. The average person on a scale of 1 to 10, how worried should we be about this right now? Uh, at 11. We all remember the Colonial Pipeline shut down when Russian hackers crippled our gas supply for days. But security expert Craig Petronella says this time around, it could be far worse. So I do think that they're going to do blanket attacks, which means that they're going to scan for low-hanging fruit. <laughs> 
one low-hanging fruit, your cell phone, where hackers will use robocalls to infect thousands of phones. Those are definitely effective methods of mass distribution of malware and different bad files and data destruction. Because our phones are synced to our computers, that malware can migrate from them and go after big corporations by creating a denial of service attack which crashes their systems. They basically have all these slave computers all ready to go and then they just push a button and then they all attack, you know, at one time. And your own computers can also be held for ransomware. We have a lot of pictures and different data, right? And they want that data and that data is typically important to us. So they're going to try to ask for some type of extortion to lock up your stuff. Petronella says back up your photos and other critical data with several different vendors, or better yet, on a device not even connected to the Internet. In addition to backups to protect yourself, you should use automatic fraud call blocking on your phones, use PIN codes on your accounts, don't click on links and text messages, and use complex, hard-to-guess passwords. But don't reuse those passwords to keep track of all those different complex passwords you're using. Use a password manager app and change those passwords frequently. We can't emphasize that enough. These days, we all have to become our own cybersecurity cops to protect ourselves. Working for you, I'm consumer investigator Steve Sprecher. It is hard to keep up with all those passwords, though. Really I'm not going to lie. Yeah. It's tough, but, but a necessary thing to do, Steve, so thank you. Travelers at RDU will soon have another airline that they can choose from. A Velo Airlines announced that it's going to offer one-way fares between RDU. And the breach involved vulnerabilities in products by Avanti, which is a software company. These affected systems were crucial. One facilitates the sharing of cyber and physical security assessment tools across federal, state, and local levels. The other holds sensitive information on the security assessment of chemical facilities. Why is this a big deal? Well, number one, not a lot of articles that I'm reading out there are pointing out the fact that the data that has been stolen at this point or the data that was stored on these systems and has been accessed by these hackers, and I'll get into who they were in a minute, you have to understand that data and assessments has to be treated at the highest level of security and sensitivity. These are essentially all all the things wrong that are in your network or that are in your computer environment that somebody could potentially exploit in a hack or exploit for no good. This is why you run regular assessments so you can identify these vulnerabilities and start working on remediating them and getting rid of them in your environment. And unfortunately for CISA, the systems that were hacked were chock full of this information across all kinds of governments from federal to state and local. So you potentially have a foreign country who has infiltrated a U.S. government network and now has a library of information about the other computer networks of other state and local agencies and organizations and municipal governments and state governments. That is an enormous amount of information that you do not want falling in the hands of your adversaries. It's not good information that I'm delivering here, folks. You want to treat these assessments and the reports and the information in these, like I said, with the highest level of sensitivity and security because of the damage that can be done when somebody gets their hands on these. So it's my belief that this hack on CISA is a bigger deal than kind of a press release or a few articles. I think this is going to lead to other state and local governments getting breached by these hackers or potentially who knows what's going to happen with this information. We don't know. It's alarming at a minimum and this could be a major, major impact on our national security moving forward here in the very, very near future. So this is the impact to you as a citizen citizen of the United States that your government, your local government, the governments that you rely on, your states, your courts, they could all end up being victims as a result of the information that was stolen in these attacks. Okay.